My name is Jeff Hetrick. I'm the director of the Lutic Pride Shellfish Hatchery here in Seward. And we operate the Shellfish Hatchery Mariculture Research Center. And we produce shellfish for the aquatic farm industry, for shellfish enhancement. We do research on new species. We provide infrastructure support for researchers. We have an ocean acidification lab, and most recently, we've been working with Alaska Pacific University, their FAST lab, Fisheries Aquatic Science and Technology Lab, providing support services and infrastructure capacities for halibut research. Uh, we've been doing this for now over two years, and basically what we do is we, we do the tank setup, we take care of the fish, make sure the water quality is monitored, we do feeding and cleaning if, if it needs to happen. Uh, when they're doing their, their experimental setups, we provide whatever services they need. It's been a great relationship. We learned all kinds of fun things, and halibut are a really cool thing to raise. We've worked with um, some stress experiments, we've worked with some feeding experiments, and most recently working with um, some disease. So we're hoping that this relationship continues. It's, it's a lot of fun. So we're currently working on a, a project with uh, Adult Pacific Halibut. We're very fortunate to be in a collaborative relationship with the hatchery here. We have what we believe to be one of the only captive collections of Adult Pacific Halibut in the world that we can work on. And this is the third in a series of experiments we've done with uh, halibut at the hatchery. And what we're doing here is investigating a parasitic infection called Ichthyophonus. And in a lot of other species, Ichthyophonus has been implicated in mass die-offs, herring, for example, or it can cause all sorts of terrible things, problems with the flesh, uh, pus pockets in the flesh, or problems with swimming efficiency or growth. And specific halibut actually show none of that despite the fact that, depending where you sample, anywhere between 30 and 60% of the halibut in an area are infected with this particular parasite, they show a remarkable resilience to that infection. And as we suspect that ichthyophonus prevalence will increase as our oceans warm, we really want to understand what it is that Pacific, Pacific halibut have that other species don't seem to be able to do when they interact with this parasite. Why are they so resilient to it when other species aren't? And we really believe that if we study that, we can learn what this relationship is and why it's so special and use it to understand future scenarios or understand what happens in other fish so we can uh, help either mitigate it or act accordingly as our environment continues to change.